Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I wanted to come and wish you a wonderful day. For today is a blessed day. It is the 11-11, um, just past the 11-11, 11-11 hours, 11 seconds. So, so we just passed through. It is mostly unconscious, but we're receiving all kinds of diamond light, very powerful light that will be integrated. We're going to gain new clarity. And so uh, it is the grand portal of ascension. We're going to be moving into this new dimension. We are being aligned and we're going to get new intellectual clarity in relationship to all that is coming. I want to say I'm doing private session. If you wish, just uh, get in touch with me. Uh, um, and so we, we want to let go of the past, essentially, and to cultivate the light and love within ourselves. It's nothing new. It's part of the essence of all messages from heaven. Um, but we, we're here to anchor the divine light, the divine feminine, this divine beautiful light. As we, we anchor, we know that there is this presence of divine love within ourselves. It assists us in overcoming the inner fears. And we're here to anchor that within the earth to create and make, make, create as much silence as possible within our mind for the human mind is going all over the place right now. But the heart is reaching for towards heaven. So as we, we create more silence within ourselves, we more, we are more able to be consciously receiving, but we're going <coughs> to receive the, the new codes from the, from the Pleiadians, from, from the Arcturians, from, from the Syrians, from the, from the great Mother, from the company of heaven, from the archangels. We're receiving all that. There is all kinds of new energies, new spirits, new groups that are also uh, coming to participate. For we're creating this golden white light, this bridge into this ocean to bridge the to create those bridge into the into the unity consciousness, the ocean of love. Yeah, and to make to bring more peace within ourselves because there's going to be a lot of chaos going on in the outside world. Eh? We want to dissolve our individuality and to, to merge into this new field and we're new field, the unity field of consciousness. There is only one field that includes all. It is always that been the truth. It's the truth of God. It has always been the truth. We've been taught that there is also a matrix that we should play with, but this is not the true matrix. The true matrix is the one of love and unity that embrace all, and we'll we'll do that as a multi universal being for we come from this multiverse we're not limited even to this universe we came from a much higher place and it's about remembering this this connection and to send this energy of love peace and unity to all most specifically to the people in america this america is the key to the to the freedom of this world and right now it's it's, it's gonna go through a lot of chaos and so we want to if you're in america just to know that you're privileged to to experience that just be in unity and peace and allow the 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 all to to unfold naturally everything is part of the divine plan everything is working as uh, as scheduled as uh, in relationship uh, many secrets are going to be revealed many many secrets for and and, and our life is an open book but we need to attain to, to reach a certain level of attainment in our consciousness before certain truths reveal within ourselves I'm going to pull a few cards for we're learning from all our experiences. Uh, everything is teaching us something. So we do not want to um, feel that there is an, it's always something to learn from. Uh, it, we, we're creating a new timeline that is uh, the soul is descending right now. And we're going to recreate a new timeline that is aligned with our soul, our divine part. And the company of heaven is also giving the, the power to the I am presence to be more um, powerful to, because it's, it's, comes from within it had, it, the call came from within humanity to to be more connected to the source and so the i am presence will be more will receive more clarity in relationship to our guidance for me when i ask guidance right now i'm just receiving one thing is you will see and there is this amazing reality that's showing shown before me for the past has been unity we've been calling on to that unity consciousness in order to 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 hope to find that salvation that freedom right now we are in the path of action Action means salvation, means wholeness, means healing, means means being at peace, uh, being at one. Uh, this is the most important action we can do is to maintain our frequency. And what is coming in the future is this wonderful card of equilibrium. It's about equilibrium. The energies will be balanced. What we work on, working on now, is trust. Is trust and faith. For we need to, to uh, the more trust we have to trust and uh, trust in ourselves, trust in the plan, trust in our guide, trust in our soul, trust in our spirit. Trust in the world, even for the world, everybody is going through what it needs to go through, and the outcome will be clairvoyance. We're going to gain this so much clarity. We are, in the next coming, the next two months, we'll, be, we'll really be uh, we're living in an accelerated time. It is like we're living 
many lifetimes in the compressed in the, in the space of two months. That's why it's so intense and huh? really uh, to understand that we're clearing up so many things. And so, uh, so it's like, um, so because the, the 3D drama is going to be continuing to expand and the illusion will continue to play out as black and white. But we'll see in a sense, there is, there is no black and most people will see life as black and white, but it's just shades of gray. And then eventually we see it's not even shades of gray. There's so many colors within life. We're just not able to fully see it yet for the, as the, as the drama expands, the illusions expand, it will be, it's, it's transmuting itself. And the truth, the fifth dimensional truth is emerging. For we, uh, th there is a great shift that that will manifest by the end of the year. We we prepare, we are being prepared for that, and uh, we need to be we we're deepening our connection to the heart and to the magnetic core of the planet. For this, the great Scorp Scorpio stargate and the, the the new moon that is. Um, the, the star on Taurus is a fixed star for Scorpio is a fixed sign and it's, it's sending us this, this beautiful light in order to, 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 to clear up the base and to align ourselves for there is, there is many aspects to the Scorpio. The Scorpio is like the dark aspect. It is the animalistic. Many people will have animalistic behavior because they're not, for it is their process that they need to awaken through that. But, but the Scorpio is also the, the great eagle that sees all the possibility and the fly of the phoenix that consume its Itself and, and is being reborn from his ashes. We need to move into acceptance and surrender rather than sadness about what has been lost. And what has been lost is we have to let it go. The new new energies will replace it. For the new timeline, will be uh, will be far more enjoyable. Huh? It, uh, uh, as we release uh, we, as we release the old fear, we need, it's, it's okay to call on your angelic family, to angelic connection. They always they're there, but they'll be more present and in the conscious aspect of life. And so call on them. They've, they've never been polarized, angels. Um, and the more intense the chaos, the, the more the more uh, the, the, the brighter, the more expansive will be the awakening. Huh? Uh, the thing is, we have to see. Sometimes we have chaotic thoughts or the disconnected thoughts or fearful thoughts, or, um, and but then we also have harmonious thoughts, peaceful thoughts. So, so it's about uh, finding the balance and trying to, to to shift the balance towards more uh, more peace and harmony. Um, to uh, to spend at least uh, to, um, as many time five minutes each five minutes uh, the, the little times just in the appreciation for it's been uh, always the same message spend more time meditating uh, spend more time feeling your emotion uh, spend more time in nature spend more time in creativity for those time right now um, you have to there is no have to this is just uh, something that is will come naturally for the very soon we're going to move into this living light, the appreciation of the living light, the, the true life, the celebration of life. Um, um, and, and look into the, this bright light behind the clouds, for there is all kinds of clouds that are, that are not allowing us to fully perceive the light of the sun right now. Uh, but there is, a, there is the sun behind the, the, the clouds and eventually the, the new day will come. Um, for the, we are on the edge of the precipice and like people say, well, what do I do? Should I trust? Should I not trust? Should I jump? Should I not jump? Huh? So it's, um, it's, 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 it's a difficult time, but it doesn't have to be if we really, uh, if we have to develop this inner faith and truth that the plan is perfect and we, we, are, we are being guided and aligned towards our, our freedom in, the, in, the, in this golden white light and this golden bridge. Uh, we also want to connect to Arcturian self. We've all had many lives on Arcturus. It is home. Arcturus is also great Elohim. The Arcturian are a very powerful collective that exists in many, many dimensions and, and they're very present and very assisting for the, the because of their advanced evolution and, and love of service, they've been called to assist many thousands of planets around the galaxy. They're even the guardian of the, the, of the they're like the shepherd of the human soul after death. People who have near-death experience, they, they find themselves in a golden white light matrix where they meet some, some of the souls, the souls are uh, familiar to them and then they're sent back because it's just a near-death experience. But it is the matrix of Arcturus. They're holding that fifth dimensional frequency because they've a, their conscious collective consciousness have risen much, much higher. But they, 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 they remain on the fifth dimension in order to assist worlds that are in their transition. 
and it is really home man it's uh, always when you if you ever have a dreams or energy or connection very soon the, the stargates will open we'll be able to, to, to fully visit those planes but uh, but it, uh, Arcturus is really home because we come from a very high celestial point and and before we came down to this physical matrix we had to go through many incarnation in this uh, in this midway station and Arcturus is it holds it's both connected to the spiritual and the material so call on your spirit your Arcturian self your Arcturian family your Arcturian connection there were spirits that was the, the, they were talking about this funny uh, allegory. Uh, so the, to bring it back, it's like we're in a washing machine right now. It's like everything when you the, the clothes, it's like all the clothes have been put together and every, everything is being washed. And there is this cosmic soap that is cleansing, purifying everything. But but it's like uh, it never, it's like chaos, complete chaos right now. But what I wanted to add is to, to not forget to put some soft softener product in there, like some 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 pink light in the process. So, so it's like a, so, so it softened the process and eventually once everything is closed and been washed and it's been rinsed uh, uh, and then there is like, <laughs> like but then after that it ends and everything the, the clothes come out clean and this is really what's happening for the collective of humanity so it was a funny um, a, a funny image but it, it, it's pretty much what is a, it's a good a good uh, description of on some sense that on some level that what is going on there's this great purification that is going on and this great day this very powerful time it's not necessarily consciously we're receiving things consciously but we are receiving it and and it's anchoring within this ourselves this this great energy of the portal of the 11 11 the highest wisdom for us today is regeneration we are regenerating our, our body all, all this, this this golden white light is is actually being infused within each and every one of our cells our dna has been affected by it and it's like there's this this great regeneration process what we need to understand is uh, it's fixing up. It's about fixing up. There's going to be a, we're going to be able to bring things into balance, to repair the, the aspect of our life that has been in suffering or been in disbalance. What we need to do is solid foundation. We want to continue to build our foundation, which is love and light and, and our anchoring into the planet. And the outcome is tic tac. It's connecting to this timeless moment of the now, the now of the one, the eternal moment of the eternal timeless one. And so this will be the outcome. We're going to be able to to connect to that 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 eternal plane of the fifth, sixth, seventh dimension. Well, I hope this message was interesting to you. I hope you have a really wonderful day. For spirit is showing me that this this great opening. I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Bring it on, Creator. It's always good to, to feel that you're ready for what is to come. For uh, I wanted to sing a song. It's another song that imposed itself into my mind at the time I was going to make this video. It's a song of someone that's like looking at life as it is black. For really, really in the midst of the apex of the darkness right now. And so, but after the the light will always come after the, the uh, after the night and the, the 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 sunshine will return after every storm and so but this this song is about um it just came into my mind so i sang it it's called painted black i see a red door and i want it painted black no colors anymore i want them to turn black I see the girls walk by in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until my darkness goes. I see a line of car and they all painted black. With flowers and my love both never to come back. I see people turn their head and quickly look away. Like a newborn baby just happens every day. I look inside and see my heart is black. I see a red door, I must have it painted black. Maybe then I'll fade away and not have to face the fact. It's not easy facing up when your whole world is black. No more will green moon, no more will my green sea turn a deeper blue. I could not force this thing happening to you. If I look hard enough into the setting sun, my love will laugh with me before the morning comes. I see a red door and I want it painted black. 
No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls walk by in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until my darkness goes. Na 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 I wanna see it painted, painted black, black as a night, black as coal. I wanna see the sun blooded out of the sky. I wanna see it painted, 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 painted black. Na 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 Well, I wanted to to I don't know why this song came into my mind was somebody who's a bit depressed, but they they will return before the morning comes. The both my love will be be laughing together. So it's like it's about finding this. Continuing to not to be distracted by all this this chaos that is going on, and we'll continue to go on. And to it's it's a test. It's a test. We all tested right now to test our inner strengths, our inner desire to connect to the love and light. And at the end, that's all there will be left. The test was just a test. It was just a, it wasn't really as serious as serious as we made it. But but there is a need for a great cleansing. It is happening on a planetary scale. And, and the card of the day is the divine conduct. Is the beloved archangel sandal form the counterpart to Archangel Metatron, and he says, uh, look for meaning in your life. Envision a different approach. Turn to friends or masters that have demonstrated great wisdom. So he's working, he's, he's wearing a purple rope. Uh, it's like he's the master of wisdom. It is, uh, it is very much to connect to our angelic family. Call on them. They will always uh, bring you back to that which is joy, which is peaceful, to... to, to to show you a way, uh, sometimes around uh, many self-created illusions. Uh, wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. If you wish a session, do not hesitate to call on me. Um, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, as well as for your donation, donations. And so the, the much is going to be going on. So today we just want to we just want to be relaxed and be in a receptive mode for the great rewards from heavens that were that are that are being bestowed that will manifest into our life in the very near future. Thank you very much. Namaste.